An ideal scanning room will be divided into two areas. Involved personnel are expected to operate Iris XP in the area A. And patients are assigned to the area B for scanning. In this way, a patient privacy can be secured. We suggest the temperature in the room should be 21 to 25 degrees, and humidity should be 30 to 75 percent. In case of breast screening, the temperature is required to be 18 degrees. The room should be insulated from the direct sunlight, and floor heating systems should be prohibited. If the room comes with windows, please close the curtains. Patients must have time for their body to recover to their own temperature. They are required to take a rest for about 5 to 10 minutes before scanning. The camera also needs to be warmed up for about 10 minutes to detect the accurate temperature. Once the Iris XP program is executed, please wait for 10 minutes before scanning. Push the green button to boot the system. Then Iris XP program will be automatically executed. This is the main screen you will see at first. On the left side, basic guideline and clinical applications are specified. In the middle of the screen, patient's images will be displayed. On the right side of the screen, the control panel where you can operate the system is located. To scan patients, the patient information must be registered in the system. In the bottom right corner, locate the sections labeled chart number and name. The first thing you have to do is fill out these two sections. Type the number you want to use for the chart number and patient name. Then click Scan in the upper right corner. Then the Edit Patient information will pop up. In this section, Personal ID, Age, Sex, and Birth Date must be filled out for the next step. Once you're done, click OK. Then automatically the screen will change to Scanning Screen. Once the scanning screen turns on, the lens protection gear covering the camera lens will slide open. Using pen and tilt and the foot switch, make sure the target part must be in the center and be full of the screen. If you look at the camera control section, there will be four arrows in each direction. Using the arrows, adjust the camera angle. Then using the foot switch, adjust the height of the stand. When you're ready to take images, first of all, click autofocus to have the camera to focus on the target. This button will have the camera to detect the accurate temperature. You must click this button and wait until the camera gets ready. And click stop, scan, and save in sequence. Once you click scan, the camera spontaneously corrects the colors seen in the screen. Make sure you give the camera 2 to 3 seconds after clicking scan so that the camera can fulfill this procedure. Lastly, click save and the images will be saved. If you look at the image adjust section, you will find the color button. There are 7 different color modes including black and white. Choose the one you want to use. The lower the temperature is, the darker the color is. Therefore, when the temperature is too low, it is likely to be invisible. In this case, click the WLBG button, and you will be able to see the boundary of the invisible part. Also, using the pink bars, you can adjust the color spectrum.
Iris XP scanning instructions consist of cervical series, lumbar series, shoulder, knee, face, hand, and breast. Those example images are on the left side of the screen. Please refer to them. You will be provided with a foot mat and a spongy board. You are required to use them to obtain precise images. Place the foot mat 1 to 1.5 meters away from the equipment and patients are invited to stand on it. The distance between the mat and the equipment can be flexible depending on situations. The footprints on the mat help patients to pose for scanning, but they don't have to be used at every scanning. The scanning poses are based on the anatomical position and the target part must be fully exposed without any clothes. From now on, the instructions on cervical poses and lumbar poses will begin. Please refer to the other poses specified on the left side of the scanning screen. Cervical series consists of six poses. Anterior pose, posterior pose, lateral pose, dorsal hands, and ventral hands. For the anterior pose, place both feet on number one of the foot mat with both palms facing the camera. In this case, all fingers are not supposed to be touching. For the posterior pose, turn around and stand with your back toward the camera. All your fingers are not supposed to be touching. For the lateral pose, stand with right hand toward the camera for scanning right hand and stand with left hand toward the camera for scanning left hand. In this case, whole arm and lateral side must be in the screen. For the dorsal hands, place the spongy board on a chair and lay both hands on the board. Dorsal sides must be toward the camera with all fingers stretched so that the camera can get the clear boundary. For the ventral hands, have the ventral sides to face with the camera, and all fingers must remain stretched. Lumbar series consists of six poses. Anterior pose, posterior pose, lateral pose, plantar pose, and back pose. For the anterior pose, place both feet on number one of the foot mat with both arms crossed on shoulders, then adjust the camera angle. Make sure both legs must be fully exposed without any clothes. For the posterior pose, turn around and stand with your back toward the camera, then adjust the camera angle. Place both hands on shoulders so that the camera can get the clear shot. For the lateral pose, place both feet on number 2 of the foot mat with both arms crossed on shoulders for scanning the right leg. Then adjust the camera angle. In this case, whole lateral side must be in the screen. Place both feet on number 3 of the foot mat with both arms crossed on shoulders for scanning the left leg. For the plantar pose, kneel on a chair and cover the legs except for the feet. Then adjust the camera angle to get the feet. For the back pose, patients must be fully naked with both hands over his or her head for this pose. Lumbar area and hamstring must be exposed. Once you save images by clicking save, click exit in the bottom right corner of the screen. Then the file open will pop up. Choose the data you just worked on and click view. The images must be properly adjusted to perfect conditions for diagnosis. First of all, you are invited to use exam mode or compare mode for this. The exam mode will display images in orders you took them in. However, in the compare mode, you can select images and arrange them in orders you want.
The four buttons above will let you display images one by one to four by four. The lower the temperature is, the darker the color is. Therefore, when the temperature is too low, it is likely to be invisible. In this case, you can adjust the color spectrum. In the analysis section, click the Win L button. Then the window level and ISO section will be activated. In the color spectrum, lower temperature is indicated in black and higher temperature is indicated in red. Move the pink bars to make the invisible part visible on the screen. Using the color button, you can choose one of the color modes where temperature is displayed with 8, 16-1, 16-2, 32, 64, 256 colors including black and white. If the images are well adjusted, click ROI button to diagnose. If the temperature difference between the painful area and the symmetric area is higher than 0.5, usually potential issues are suspected. First, Leave ROI marks on the painful area and the symmetric one. Then the temperature difference will be automatically calculated. On the left side, there are basic guidelines and clinical applications you can refer to. Please utilize them for diagnosis. In the top right corner, choose the ROI mark you prefer. Once you choose the ROI mark, click and hold the left mouse button and move your mouse to draw the mark. Next, double-click to leave the same mark on the symmetric area. The ROI mark must stay in the body part. Once you leave the ROI marks, identification numbers are assigned to each mark. You can see the data information along with the numbers. Average temperature, standard deviation in the ROI mark, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, temperature difference, and the number of pixels will be indicated. If you want to delete the ROI data, click the identification number of ROI you want to delete in the information board. Then click the clear button. Be aware that all the data will be deleted if you click the clear all button. You can leave either your own comments or automatic ones. If you want to leave your own comments, first of all, select no selection from the body part section. Then select Normal from the Disease section. Now, leave your comments in the Additional Comments section. Then click Save to save the data and click the X button to close the ROI in the upper right corner. If you want automatic comments, select the part you want to leave comments for. Then select Disease from the Disease section. Then the comments will be automatically specified in the Opinion section based on the temperature difference arising from the ROI marks you left. To receive the correct comments, the accurate poses and ROI marks recommended from the guideline must be complied. The comments will be written in the report. Click Print and the list print will pop up. Click Print Preview to see comments on the report. When you click Print, you can adjust the print settings. To load the existing data, click File Open. Then the file open will pop up. Select the category in the top left corner of the file open. Then click search and the existing data will show up. 
Select the data you want to see and click view. You can also load multiple data. Click File Open and select the previous data before treatment and the current ones after treatment with the Ctrl key pressed. Then click View and select the Compare mode. Now, select the image before treatment and the image after treatment. This function is expected to be utilized for monitoring pre- and post-treatment. If you want to take new images of patients who are already registered, first of all, click chart number in the bottom right corner. Then the search patient will pop up. In the top left corner, select the category and click search. Select the patient you want and click select. Lastly, click scan to take new images. To delete the existing data, click the File Open. Then select the category and click Search. Select the data you want to delete and click Delete. Then click Yes and the data will be deleted. If you want to shut down the system, Click Exit in the top right corner of the screen and click Yes. Then Iris XP program will be turned off. Now, click Window and shut down the system.